Got a nice little squad tonight. Still the best shorts. Let's get a little closer. How's everybody doing? Good. Everyone have a good Christmas. Happy New Year. You guys are back in school now though, huh? Yeah, it kind of stinks. I know. I had to go back to work today. It kind of stinks too. Um, I'm pumped to get after it tonight with the older guys. One thing I want to work on today is exits and counters. We're going to warm up together. Younger guys, you guys are going to do a lot of technique work. Um, we'll probably spend about 15 minutes doing that and then we'll just wrap it out the rest of the time. Sound good everybody? All right, cool. Grab a partner, grab a ball. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you guys are here. Craig, demo there. First drill, we're going ball grabs against each other. All right? Really working on our anticipation and our focus. Put our sticks down flat. Keep your hand where it would be if our hand were on the stick. We're going to put our shaft right there as a reference point. I want those shoulders turned, sit up on those toes. And we're reinforcing our technique. Our pinky goes to the ball and our thumb turns at 45 degrees so we punch straight at it. You guys all got it? You guys lock up, you can fight for the ball. We'll do a couple of practice rounds and then we'll play for push-ups. All right, let's go. Down. What do you got, partner? Shut. Good, down. Good job, good punch. And make sure your sticks aren't in the way. Move them back a little bit so they're they're not obstructing your hand. Down. Set. Good. Cleaner punch though, right? You beat him to the ball. You just missed it. I like it. Holding yourself accountable. Down. Set. Hold you guys good, more turn on that initial punch. You both went like this. Down. Shut. Let's go, push it up, push us. Good, both you guys a little cleaner getting the ball, right? Down, three more practice reps. Set. I'll touch you. <laughs> Alright, we're playing first one to four. If you lose, you got 15 push-ups. Down. Set. Like that. Yeah, that makes a little more sense, right? Set. Good, nice punch. Good patience, Tim. You guys keep moving. I sure. Oh, we, we, you both are. Yeah, you're not even going to face off. Down, even if you're done, get the extra rep. Again, right? Let's get the stance. Are you sure? I wasn't even ready. Okay. Let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, if you guys want to be in the advanced group, this side. Younger, more technique, less experience, this side. Let's go, nobody in the middle. You guys aren't allowed to be indifferent, have to choose. All right, you two want those guys? Cool. Older guys, come here. Quick drill we're gonna do for about 10 minutes. Who wants the demo with me? You want it? All right, so I'm with Davis, and we could add a third person about halfway through. I'm going to give him a hard half clamp. He's working on clamping in strong, pinching quick, getting to his feet, and exiting. We're going to work on our counters at the same time. So I want you guys trying to attack underneath this right thumb. All right? So you're going to do just go slow motion. Clamp in hard, pinch, hop. And now from here, as I go to counter, I want him either dragging and going forward. You can kind of drop step and go out to the left or behind you. Or if he gets underneath and is kind of into your body, use his momentum against him, roll those wrists back, and right pop. All right, couple counters that have worked really well recently. If he gets that full ball, I can come underneath, butt end, the thumb, and lift. Someone got a ball? Or same thing, I use my thumb as he goes to pinch, and I'm attacking his thumb pinch, and I come here, and I pull right from underneath. Both those are much more legal. You won't have the rest 
all over you versus going behind that wrist and kind of like picking his arm out, right? Refs are calling that right away, so we gotta work on either going butt end or thumb right under his thumb. Sound good? All right, cool. Try to straddle his stick. If he goes to pop it, no checking, but you guys can try to catch and steal that. Get your sticks in lanes and find his hips to bump him off balance. All right, grab a partner, let's go. Just alternate each time. Set. Get your feet quicker. Get right up. Set. Drive in, quick. Where's the counter? If you do that and you're not getting over with your left hand, keep stuffing your right hand in hard, both going towards the wall. Try this one. When you guys counter, hop up, click. Down! Feel it. This is nice. Set! Go ahead, counter. I forgot, I forgot. You guys are just wasting your time. Go ahead, get up, quick, find it. More aggressive with it, right? Don't step here, step there, because now he can't go forward anyway. Down! Left, when you have clamp, left bottom edge, under the ball like that, more open so he can actually get the ball out. Down! Set! Who's countering? Counter. You're supposed to let him clamp and then counter once he secures it, right? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. Down! Shut! Good. Rather than going down with your body, as soon, you know he's going to get the ball. You're letting him win. As soon as he secures it, it's a hop and a step. So come down with me. Set, go, right, go. I'm right here right away, and now as soon as he pinches, I'm right into his hands. Down! Good. Not here, though. There. Take okay, that. So how do you get your... Uh... So ready? If you, I go here, right? It's your thumb to my thumb. Come around. No. Perpendicular now. Tap right under my thumb. Yes. Got you. Down! Quick, 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 tighter. Stop wasting time. Um, one thing I'll say, a lot of you guys aren't into like being aggressive on the counter move. The only way you're gonna get better at it is if you actually practice it at full speed, right? So like these two I go over there, not to pick on you guys. Both of them didn't do the counter. That's two wasted reps. We could practice exit on our own if we want, right? The whole point is to go against somebody countering you and get getting good at it. Do any of you guys think you're gonna be 100% in college? Right? How do you inflate your percentage? You steal back face-offs by doing these little things, all right? So, you guys take that for what it's worth. Derek and I and Craig, actually, you two come down. Derek's countering, Craig's clamping, same drill. We're gonna add a third guy. So as Craig secures this ball, I can, you're gonna clamp with your eyes closed, by the way. Listen up. Craig's clamping with his eyes closed. I'm the wing guy, right? We're just gonna go three-man rotation, set, go. He opens his eyes, he sees where Derek is, he sees where I am, now he has two people to try to get out against, all right? No checking, but I want you guys to try to steal the ball. Groups of three, let's go. Yep, Clamper's eyes closed before the whistle. If you're the wing guy, feel free to move around and mess with him, set. Good, quicker though, right? You hold and get your eyes up. You can look once. The second you like look twice, they're probably gonna call you for holding it down. Damn it! Go ahead, get out, Graham. Find exit. Go ahead, nice job. Hurt. Good job with the pressure, both you guys. No defense? You gotta give him pressure. You've grown a little bit too. I have. Him, right? Give him yeah. pressure. He needs to see two people on this. You can coach Kyle. You guys see that? You see that? You see it? Okay. So we're gonna try and tie up, guys, okay? On that tie up, coach is gonna give us a second whistle. Once you get that second whistle, we're already on our feet. 
and we're trying to rotate, guys, okay? Coach gets a second whistle, and we start rotating, guys. Again, we're just trying to fight for this ball here, okay? We're trying to keep fighting for it, fighting for it, fighting for it, until finally one of us gets it, and we're out. Okay, guys? This requires you guys to keep that top pressure on it, okay? What I don't want to see, guys, is what you were talking about, rolling back. Okay, guys? That might be a win right now. Once you get to that uh, higher levels, guys aren't going to be able to, you aren't going to be able to win face-offs that way. Guys are going to react to seeing this. They're going to make a loose ball, a loose ball, okay? Here we go. So every partner up. Nope, nope, you two are going to split I know, I said no, because I didn't So the first one, guys, we're tying. We're not going for the full ball. Oh, nice. Yes, tie, tie, tie. Both of you guys tie up. Now rotate, now we're rotating. So what happened? Okay. Really quick, can you come down with me? Right? When you rotate it, you stand up and you pick your hands up to try and get your balance. As soon as I pick my hands up, what happens? No, bottom hurts. Yeah, the bottom rail lifts the ball. It's lifting it into a step. So the way that you prevent that, okay? by keeping pressure on your hands. Have you ever done a handstand before? Yeah. Okay? Think of like doing a handstand, okay? So if I'm here, I need to get my feet there. I get like a hand, I start like I'm doing a handstand. I put pressure on my hands. That's why I keep my yeah. stick down. So when I rotate yeah. through, yeah. I go with Andrew. Yeah. Now I'm tied up in the Okay, so on that knee, right? We're tied up. Yeah. So I keep my pressure here. You see how that stick stays down? Yeah. See? No, no. Take the pressure on your head. Okay? Here we go. Let's see. Right here. I'm gonna give you guys the give you guys the full throw, okay? Start from even. You gotta go to the tie-up and the rotation. Start from start from the neutral case. Start from neutral. Start from neutral. Work on that control, fellas. Coming down on the ball. Set. Not rotate yet. Oh come on. Restart, 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 right? I wanna see the tie. I wanna see the control, okay? So start from neutral, right? Straight down. Set. Now rotate, rotate, rotate. I got, I got your way. Again, start to pick your hand up while you're standing up. You're doing this. I want you to do that. You got my hand stay down. Why? Start from your knee. Start from your knee. Okay, pressure on. Start from your stance, okay? And now get up without picking either of your hands. See how that pressure stays there? Okay, now you want your feet a little bit more this way. So now your pressure's going this way. And now rotate. There you go. See how that pressure's staying down? That's what we're trying to do. All right, we're good. Shut! If you went early, give me five. I should say give yourself five. Right here. Shut! Lift against him. Shut! Where'd your left hand go? You would tell me. Where? Yeah, you went right forward. Get over the top of the ball a little more. You'll be fine. Shut! I see what you're saying. You're going forward with both hands. Turn your shoulders a little more to start. All right. Good job. Yep. Sit a little taller. Yes. I know it feels a little more uncomfortable that turn. Set. Good, man. Rotate. Pinch hard. Good. Nice job. What could you have done to get some separation from his stick? Yeah, drag a little more. You had that. All right. Good job, though. Good clamp. Remember, sit up. Get this outside, so I'm a little more balanced now. Shut! Good foot clamp, Dad. Good job. If you, I don't know if you knew that was coming. He was really light on his hands. So against someone who's light, you got to think they might quick clamp, or they might try to get in and out quickly in some other way. They could rake, right? So try to pinch, get that hand up, and you can close your stick to the ground. Shut! Woo, good job, Quinn. Do you see? You're trying to tie me up. If you're gonna do that, less here, more like spearing at the ball. So it's 
bang come up a little bit because all you need when you do that is that much of the ball and I can drag it out, right? So it's snap in and out with a little more pressure on that right hand and a little more left lift on your left and you'll be much more successful. Yeah. Set. Good. What you waiting for? You had most of that. That's how I right? Did. You get most of it straight up or out. Alright? I feel like it's making my tough side all done. You had it in there though. Okay. He just tried to rake it out. That was desperation on his part. <laughs> Round 12. You can go a little more to the throat. Like this. No. Set! See how you're too extended? Yeah. I appreciate you lining up like that. You can get a little closer though. Yeah. All right, don't give him any advantages. Yeah. Set. Nice job. You see, he had a little more off the initial whistle, yeah. but he, as he rotated around, got his arms extended and pinched. Right? If you're losing by a little bit and you know he's going forward, stuff in and then get around. Yeah. Cause he already had a little bit of an edge on the rotation. Try to get him to over rotate. Yeah. yeah, he's the man. I like those socks. What? I like the socks. Not us, down. Shut. Your shoulders came right back, right? Drive off those toes and push over the ball, okay? Don't have little brother syndrome against him. Just because he teaches you doesn't mean you can't beat him. No, no, it wasn't. I'm just saying. Shut! Yo, get out of your own head. All right, we're in pocket in the front. That's the second biggest. It should be in there. All right, why do we take a water break? None of you guys are dehydrated, I obviously know that. Mental focus, right? In a game, it's easy to stay locked in when you're taking rep after rep after rep and hearing whistle after whistle after whistle, right? Is that how a game works? Never, never, right? So right now, mental practice, refocus, lock back in. Go to your spots, two out of three. To get a point, we're gonna do seven more rounds. What? Yeah. <laughs> Mental game. You gotta work on that the most. I'm fucking nice, man. Locked in. <laughs> you know who? We just talk about focus. How many guys went early? Set. Look at your body. See how you're dropping? Is this strong? Is it? You see how you drop your shoulders down? Is this strongest? If I want to get over the ball? No, right? So think about getting your arms out a little more. So your technique's actually good. You could punch a little more in versus four, but push off those toes and get those shoulders up versus down at the ground. Down! Good rotation. You're gonna keep going, keep going, pinky in. Oh, when that CEO went. What could you have done? As you have it peeled back. Jam, because he still had a lot of it to watch. Come down. That was three, rotate. If you get in this way, if you're here and he still has a lot of that ball, and you see that bend, that's the way you drive right across. Yeah. Right, with my fist for that jam. Good job keeping pressure. Set. He started with a tiny bit more pressure against him. How do you beat that? You can go up, or yeah, top edge, be a little quick with it, maybe you pull, because he's pushing, because he's a little bit heavier on that hand. Down! Pinch, get out. Nice job. You came straight to me with your left hand. Stay a little lower, your speed's good though. You almost beat him on that one. Avoid that drop down, right? There's a fine balance between getting over the ball the difference is when you punch, if you get over it, you should, yeah, you came back and down. This is a weak motion. I'm just, all I have is pushing forward. I can't get over the ball. Rotate, round 18. Shut. Nice, good lift. You had a lot of that ball. One thing I showed, I forget who it was. It might have been Luke. When you come in, if you like that quick clamp move, don't go like this, because that's hard to grab the ball. You could get the ball like that, right? As long as I keep this hand up and wrenched, and I push that hand, right hand through the ground, 
try to grab or spear the ball more at that like Z axis or like 45 degree angle. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Down. Nice, Jason Pinch. Good job. Wave the coach because I'm gonna. He wanted to see the clip later. Down. Set. Good, Brennan. Pinch hard. Get out. Let's go. That's a good counter. When you get most of his hand, though, keep pulling. All okay. right. You had him right in the ropes. Is this hard to face off of? You want to try my duel? I'll bring it over. Set. Hey, same thing. Don't chop those shoulders down too much. And I would try not to be so angled. A little bit more square. So you have like a 45 degree. This is like, you're almost straight. And see how far you're reaching. Down. Right now in your old stance, where's your head? Right here, not above your glove. It's like, you like this, now see where it is? It's right above your stick. Shut. Language. Better, right? See how you get more weight on your hand? He thought he was gonna smoke you again. You got him. Good, nice job, Jack. Better. What do you think about your toe not being tucked? Do you like it? No. Try. I mean, I know it might be uncomfortable because you don't do it. You're like this. If you stand behind me, that's in front of me. You're like this. I want you like this so you can sit tall and then firmly get into your stance. Does that make sense? Yeah. You'll get more drive too. Brown, set. Go ahead, Matisse, pinch, get out, good job. If you get, if he gets it, think defense straight away. Hop up and remember those counter drills. That was pretty good. He's got a little bit more practice on you. You'll be fine. Down. That's definitely better in terms of attacking the ball much more aggressively. Good job. I you're less in and outs, but I think you're going to be much better in tie-ups, like long term. Right there, I was kind of whistling, waiting for the whistles. Yeah, you weren't anticipating as much. You almost have that. You get most of it. Pull it out. Set. You want early, give me push-ups. Yeah, we'll do a read face. Shut. Nice exit. Here we go. Good, good, good. Sorry, good. 20 minutes. That wasn't bad, but look at my left hand. You gotta come in lower. Sit up in your stance more. Like, watch. This is how you're gonna get. Put your hands down. Knee in the middle. You have to sit back so your butt touches your heel. No. 45 degrees. My butt touches my heel. Now look up. I'm tall in my stance and I bend this elbow. So I'm right over the ball. Yeah. Too much forward. Just look at my move, right? Push off those toes first move, and now I can easily rotate from there. That's better though. Same thing. Hands down. Foot outside my butt end. 45, middle of my stick. Sit back. Up on those toes. So my head's, I'm almost over the shaft. My head's above my glove. Turn your head, yep. See the difference? Yeah. Right? Better? More there though. Harder with my right hand. We're getting there though. Keep rotating. There you go. That's a second ago. Here we go, down. Guys, both of you guys, down. Set. I'm not 
saying there is 15 reps. I'm saying the ref missed the call. Okay? You go. Down. Down. Set. Set. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Set. You made me blow the whistle early. <laughs> I was on. Down. Rep five, rep five, rep five. Down. Come with your left hand. That's the only reason I don't like that it's so low is because sometimes better. Chop, boys. We'll get there. It's your first session. You guys will be good. Good job, both of you. Uh oh. Reface. Stay there. Shut. All right, we got four, right? Who's left? Set. Let's go! Ooh. 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 One, one. This is like a total power drop. You can see it. Set. Ooh, baby, still top it. Set. Pitch it, pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Right. Good counter. <laughs> Set. Find it. Still good. Lift, right? Lift, don't check it. Set. Left hand up, right? All right. All right, we're good. Set. Right? That was a really good job snapping down the line. I want to see your stand up versus. Back this up. Yep, yours comes up. Set. Set. 
I said stay, no, it's, it's my bad. No, I, I said stay. Stay there. Set. <laughs> Alright, bring it up. Alright. What's our homework assignment? Yeah, so watch the film. We're lucky that George is able to come tonight. Make sure you guys take advantage to watch the film. He got a lot of footage from both groups. Would we? Yeah, who watched the overnight camp video? If you if you haven't, please watch it. It's worth the, it's worth the watch. I promise. It's really good. Any what? YouTube.com/slash/faceoffactor. Where was it? What? Towson University. That's what you just said. You gotta listen. Anybody have any questions?